Well, it is quite a cloudy day so far here across our viewing area. And our temperatures are quite mild too at 68 degrees. And winds are out of the south southeast at 24 miles per hour gusts near tropical storm force. And our pressure is falling uh, quite rapidly right now at 29.35 inches in mercury. Now, as we head over into our current satellite and radar at this time, we are seeing those mostly cloudy to cloudy conditions, mainly along and east of Highway 83. And there is a little bit of storm development that is occurring near Arapaho at this time and even east of, Kurt, uh, east of McCook at this time too. And we're going to be watching this very closely because some of these cells have the capability of producing some severe weather and looking at our current temperatures. Our temperatures at the moment are mainly in the 60s and 70s, exception they are in Broken Bow at 59 degrees. So it is quite a mild to even a slightly warm sort of day and the winds are howling at this time folks. Winds coming out of the south and east about 20 to 30 miles per hour. So again, make sure you're staying safe on the roadways during the day today. And also make sure you're hanging on to your hats too. Now, we do have the chance of seeing some severe weather today. And we do have a tornado watch along and east of Highway 83 until 7 o'clock this evening. And this is where we could see some tornado possibilities. And also the hail and damaging winds is also a possibility. And again, it will be along and east of Highway 83. And this includes North Platte. So we will be watching this very closely. So again, make sure you have that KNOP weather app on hand. And throughout the day today, it's going to continue to be wet and it's going to be warm and windy and we will see those isolated to scatter storms around here too with that severe weather possibility along and east of highway 83 and we have this area of low pressure that's going to be pushing on through over the next 24 hours and this is going to bring us those high winds and also again that chance of severe weather and then we're going to see an area of high pressure build behind that and that's going to allow for us to see quiet conditions throughout the rest of the week so it's going to be giving us a good break from from the active weather that we've been seeing over this last month and a half. Now, we do have a marginal two slight chance of severe weather along and east of Highway 83. And again, damaging winds, hail, and an isolated tornado or two is quite possible in these regions. And again, this includes North Platte, Broken Bow, McCook, Curtis, and even into Lexington as well. So make sure you again have that KNOP weather app on hand. And this cold front is going to be continuing to push on through overnight tonight into our Tuesday. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to see things clear up overall. And we will see our area of high pressure build on in. It will give us that northeasterly flow. So that may give us a little bit of residual moisture in the form of some clouds here and there throughout the rest of the week. And we will be monitoring things as we progress forward. But the good news is, guess what? Over the next several days, we will see those winds calm down. And also, we're going to see those temperatures overall increase after a slight decrease between today and Wednesday. So it's going to be a really spring like week ahead, folks, and we will see again those conditions improve too. So we'll be able to go out and really enjoy the spring like weather. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching News to Midday. I'm meteorologist Andrew Brooks. Have a great day and we'll continue to keep you posted on the severe weather ahead.